Hello and welcome back to another episode of Mix It, the cooking show that always brings the heat. I'll be your host, Mallory Sullivan, and today we will be dishing with our ex-host, Brandon Garnsey. Hi, yeah, that's me. Um, I'm back. I bet you never thought I would come back and try to one-up you tonight, Mallory, didn't you? I didn't think security was going to let you back on. Well, you know what? They did, and I'm here to reclaim my show from you, so I'm going to beat you. In today's episode, Brandon and I will have a cook-off to determine who is the superior host. Will Brandon's junk food prevail, or will my clean, healthy cooking keep me safe? I think we both know which one's going to happen, but we will both prepare a heatless dish of our choice in five minutes. And when that timer goes off, our guest judge will determine who the future host of Mix It will be. Feeling nervous yet? No, because it's going to be me. For really? sure. Absolutely. I have been thinking about this moment ever since you publicly embarrassed me in I'll front of thousands and even millions of people watching this at home. That's completely unacceptable. I've been crying every morning when I wake up, every time I eat my dish, which I'm going to be preparing today, and every moment, every small second in the evening when I'm trying to go to bed, when I'm trying to do my meditation, namaste, can't namaste, namaste no more because I'm back and I'm going to take the show from you. That was the single most pathetic thing I've ever heard in my entire oh, life. Oh, really? Yeah. Mm -hmm. That was pretty pathetic. Namaste after you eat your donuts. Like, what, is, what kind of lifestyle is that? Just don't even work out at that point. Just, just go to bed. What's it's my lifestyle, Mallory. Like, it's offending. You're offending me again. You're embarrassing me again. I You're have embarrassing no problem. the entire meditation community, entire spiritual community. That's a really offensive to this us. This is my show, so technically I can do whatever I want. Well, guess who's the guest today? Me. I'm surprised they even had you back on. Well, security let me in, and I'm here to steal your title. Where's you know, your badge? Are, you, are we sure that security, did you let them on, really, truly, honestly? How'd you manage to sneak past them? I, to be honest, I don't have a badge, but um, there was a, na a man named Joe who actually let me in. Um, so talk to him, Joe from security. Se first floor, first floor. That sounds pretty yeah. phony baloney. Why don't you check after the show ends, after I steal the show from you and I win? Really? So you have to tell me, what are you going to muster up and make today? Just tell me what kind of pathetic dish you're going to insult my guest judge with. So I'm actually really excited because this will win hands down. I'm making a donut, slicing the donut in half bagel style, so two sides. From there, we're going to be doing a peanut butter base spread. Yes. And then we're going to add a little hint of salty, a little crunchiness of Chex Mix, my favorite little snack. So why don't you just add, adding them all together makes it a beautiful situation. And then on top of that all, we're doing a little cheddar goodness surprise. Cheddar goodness? Oh, you'll see. You'll see. And then we cannot forget, the best secret ingredient is this, are my tears that I've saved up in a little jar from the past two weeks of you embarrassing me. So just a little sprinkle of my tears to give that salty and savory scent. <laughs> Not scent, a little flavor and scent. Mine, my donut can be used as perfume, perfume too. How do you manage to host the show if you can't even land these lines? Um, you know what? Um, when I take the show over, you're gonna, you're gonna find that out. The ratings have dipped over the two past weeks where you've been here. So. Well, what I'll be cooking, thanks for asking, by the way. You come on my show, you don't even ask me what I'm cooking. I don't even really care. Well, today I'm gonna prepare a Mediterranean couscous. Now in this- Couscous? Case, yeah. Say it twice. Cusco from Cous Emperor's Cous New Groove? <laughs> no, couscous. It's pearl couscous, and it's prepared with fresh olive oil, fat-free feta mixed into oh, it. Oh, I bet it's fat-free. Is that a joke? Am I, am I fat to you? Yeah, absolutely. That's... So I slice fresh cherry tomatoes and fresh cucumber, and I mix it in the Israeli couscous mixture. Now on the side, I'm creating a fresh Greek yogurt tzatziki <laughs> sauce with 0% non-fat Greek yogurt. Greek little... yogurt? What about my ice cream that I got brewing up back there Well, right we'll now. see what that consistency has been melting there all day. Oh God, <laughs> yeah. I didn't even think about that. Okay, it's fine, I'm still gonna win. Well, Don't... anyways, on top of my, so we're gonna layer tzatziki, the couscous, my fresh Atlantic salmon that my grandfather caught in Alaska, it's gonna beat you hands down. My guest judge is gonna have a flavor sensation. I have a question for you. If it's a fresh and it's from Alaska, how did you get it to California and still consider that fresh? Well, you freeze it. 
have you heard of a freezer before? Like how your your relative fell off the boat when he tried to catch it and got froze. Real classy, frozen. Brandon. <laughs> After the break, Brandon and I will go head to head to see who will host the show next. Do not go anywhere. That we shall. Oh, my grandpa. Nice, nice. Welcome back. Tonight we are competing in a no heat cooking challenge to see who will be the future host of Mix It. There's a lot at stake here. One of us will be unemployed by the end of this. All right, Brandon, are you ready to get cooking? I was born ready and you're going down, Mallory. That's very threatening. Well, we'll have to get five minutes on the clock. On my mark, ready, set, go. Okay, no, back it up, back it up, back it up. Take it slow, take it slow. I'm gonna get you. You can't stab me with a fork. I'm gonna get you. you cannot back up, stab back me. up. Back Here. Up. Oh, do you need this? You know what? You know what? Forget. <laughs> you know what? Oh, you need this? Forget. Here. Like. Oh. Do you want me to throw this at you? Oh. I will. Oh, you get all your junk food ready? In the trash? Are you calling me trash? fat? Are you calling me fat? Absolutely, Mallory. I'm calling you fat. I'm fat shaming you. Live on TV. That's, that's disgusting. What, this is my you show. Know what, and I'm allowed to fat shame you on my show. What was that? Oh wait. Oh, was, oh, was it this? Oh, okay. I'll, 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 she has I have two. Another one. I have two of them. You sneaky bitch. <laughs> you do all. You need all those forks. I do actually, so I can win. Gross. Are you gonna give that to our guest judge, a fork that's been on the floor? Yeah, I will. Gladly. Maybe yeah. it'll taste better. Whatever. Some seasoning. You know what? I hope that covers up your mic so they can't have to hear you anymore. Apron is coming on. And okay. you're going down. Here I go preparing my very, very healthy, innovative dish. I'm sure it's healthy. It's that's why it's gonna knock you sucks. out of the water. All right, Meanwhile, so what I'm the doing is open. I'm adding fresh cherry tomato and cucumber to this couscous mixture that's already been mixed with olive oil couscous, and what a name. feta. Shake it up just as easy as this. You know what? Couscous honestly tells you everything you need to know about what you're making. Really? What does it tell us? It tells you that at the end of the day, I'm going to be the emperor in the new groove. Oh, you know? God. What's with you in this? You're obsessed with the emperor's new groove. I think I'm not obsessed. I just think it's hilarious that you're trying to make a fictional Disney character for a meal. I, I didn't. I didn't name Couscous. I don't know what you're talking about. Isn't that about. kind of objectifying? You know what this is? What? This is Actually, fresh dill. Is that Have you ever seen this in your entire life? That's grass. This comes out of the ground. You're putting not grass out of bag. in your food? That's weird. It's not grass. Okay. All right, so now I'm adding more freshly chopped cucumber to my tzatziki mixture. Yeah, well, while you're adding cucumber, I'm adding peanut butter to my little donut bites. Don't be disgusting. This little bagel donut is turning into a few pieces, actually. Um, they've been pre-cut because I've been, again, waiting for this moment my whole life. So, um, do you really think you have everything to make a victory meal? No, I don't have a fork. Where's a fork? Wait, you just take all the forks? Every fork ever you're just taking? I don't know. Why don't you look harder? Oh, God. She finally found them. That was really nice. You no wasted fork. Some time, How am I supposed Mallory? to cook anything? Do you know what this is? This is a lemon. Have you ever seen one of these before? I actually a lemon? Have. They have nerds that look like that, but a little nerds? smaller. Nerds. I Yellow couldn't nerds. even tell you what. I don't even know what that is. So now you... I'm squeezing fresh lemon juice in my mixture, which adds a little zesty flavor. And now here is your favorite Greek yogurt. That's actually good for you. It's not your chocolate. Well, you have yogurt, I have peanut butter. So oh. who really won? Who really wins? Yeah. Peanut butter means you win, really? So it now will. instead of just mixing it together, it'll be too thick. I'm going to pour some fresh almond milk in it to try to dilute you it. You know what, Mallory, do you have spirit guides with you? Because I feel them, and honestly, they're here, and spirit they're telling guides? me that I'm gonna win. 
what, the, what is that? I don't even know what that is. A little spiritual essence of hope. That's what it is. Oh, you did. Wearing my crystals. Sure, today. know how to clear a room. I'm really getting into this with my fingers. Like, the best part about cooking is you get to eat with it. Really? Mm -hmm. That's disgusting. That's this poor delightful. host doesn't even know what she's getting herself into. So now I'm opening the Chex Mix bag. Lovely Chex Mix. Oh my God, gotta have one. Anyway, we're just gonna little, do a little sprinkle of this on these little donuts. Ooh, yes. Oh, it's so beige donuts. over there. Why is it so beige? Because we love a good carb. Oh, don't we, ladies? Hate. You well, need carbs. Mental health, you your really poor need carbs. Viewers. The three you people yourself. that are your fans are probably watching this are so disappointed in you right now. You know what? I bet your grandfather's disappointed in you. <laughs> Again with the grandpa. I don't know what that's about. Maybe, All right, well, you better start plating. Maybe you should, should have saved him when he fell in the lake. In he Alaska. didn't fall in the lake. I don't know what that's all about. Yeah, he's just frozen. So what I'm doing it. is I'm creating a little, you better start plating. I'm creating a little base on the bottom. Opening the Cheetos. Oh, yes. Mukbang. You got the Chex Mix so far? I don't know. What, what language are you speaking over there? Now we're adding in the Cheetos. Oh, oh, oh my God. Okay. Um, yes. Okay. This is just amazing. Honestly. You and your 10,000 forks you had to steal. I'm starting to figure out our little beef we had, Mallory, because this beef? food is taking away all my- I don't know what beef my... is. I, I only, I'm vegetarian, so I don't eat beef. Well, that's funny, because I'm vegetarian, and I for sure don't know what beef is, but I know what beef is in the Twitter trending hip lingo. Are Which you not Twitter hip, trending Mallory? trending hip lingo? I don't even know what you're talking Are about. Are you not hip? Anyone over the age of like 15 has no idea what you just said. Opening the Oreos. Next stop is getting a little chocolate goodness. And then we're gonna do a side dish of a little ice cream coming up soon. Just adding two per donut. Okay, I am adding my grandfather's freshly caught salmon. That's what's gonna Then he didn't fall lose. in the lake for you, he's still alive. You know, actually, I've seen Rest that assured. salmon. I am a vegetarian, but I've seen salmon at Costco. And that looks really familiar to Costco's. Do you think, uh, I don't know, are you calling me a liar? So, I'm not calling you a liar, but what I am saying is that, are you disrespecting your own grandfather? Absolutely not. I have to go get a spoon. Um, and Good I can take my sweet them. little time because I know you are you wasted a lot of it earlier. So. Who wasted whose time? You're the one blocking the whole thing. What was blocking the whole That's thing was your own mind. You have to block me? In order to get what you want. Now we got this Baskin Robbins cookies and cream ice cream. It's been sitting out for, you know, a little bit. But to me, that's not bad at all. To me, that's just good. Oh, my God. She's a little liquid, but that's fine. Adds a little goodness right You're here. You're calling that ice cream? Yeah. It's a little, it's a little <laughs> soup, actually, now. Which is even better. You can dip it. Have you ever had... Oreos dipped with milk. This is the exact what are same you, thing. I'm not even paying attention to what you're saying. What is this? This is some Oreos You can't and even, cream. you're laughing at this. This is disgusting. It's you're calling this ice cream? I, I, Insulting my guest well, judge? I did not intend for it to be liquid, but it's Do you know what a refrigerator is? No, I've never heard of that. You just only eat things out of bags. That, that's, is that the move? Like I've never had things to. things out of bags. No. I don't have to freeze and keep cool my... Cheetos. Absolutely not. They can last in a hurricane. They can. That's why they're good. Well, you better. Are you almost ready to get going here? Oh, are you done? Indeed, I'm done. And I am I done before you? Because that says a lot. Well, no, because I happen to just just be getting finished right now. Now, see what I did was I put some thought into this, did and you? I added some fresh dill on top right here. And I think this is gonna blow you out of the way. This, this is couscous, by the way. I don't know if you're familiar, obsessed with the Emperor's New Groove film, but this is actual things that you eat. It doesn't look edible. It looks like a zombie's flesh, honestly. This looks like a zombie's flesh. How does that look like a zombie's flesh? Well, we'll see who it truly comes out on top here. Um, but when we come back, we will have a special guest judge who will taste our radically different dishes and who will decide who will be the official Mix It host. Will I keep my job or will Brandon be victorious? We'll be right back. That we will.
Well, it has all come down to this moment. Whose dish was better, Brandon's junk food or my healthy alternative? Our judge will rate the meal's presentation, taste, and creativity on a scale of one to five. Please join me in welcoming our food expert critic, Brittany Klubeck. Brittany, hello. Hi. I'm Brandon. So nice to meet you. Welcome to Mix It. Mallory, nice to meet Hi, you. Hi, nice to meet you too. Thanks for coming on the show. Thank you guys for having me. I'm so excited to try these delicious looking dishes. Yes, of course. So let's start off by telling us a little bit about what it is to be a food critic. Yeah, so I have always loved food. It's just been like a passion and like it was my first love, you know, you know how that is. Yeah. And I've just been going to like these really, really high quality five star Michelin restaurants since I was like so small, four years old. Okay. Like definitely something I've always had a passion for. And yeah, these dishes seem to look like they could be served there maybe. We'll see, we'll see. So, right, when you say five-star restaurants, are you talking more healthy options there or more kind of like like a $50 like, donut maybe? Like $3 signs. So, $3 signs? Yeah, so okay. maybe like Love that. $100 donut with like the gold flakes on it. You know, right. gotta go high class. Love that. Yeah. Okay. You're unemployed though, so I, I don't know if you can afford those $3 yeah. signs. We'll you, see. That is one thing you are right about, Mallory. So this is why... Um, this kind of explains our dishes and dif their differences. There's a lot on the line for poor Brandon. He's unemployed. But if you look wow. at that piece of actual crap on his plate, you'll Excuse see me. who the true winner is. This is delightful. This is beautiful. This is really enjoying. Like, what is that? That's Cusco? I'm sorry. Who? What is Cusco? Exactly. This is Thank you. Let me just explain to you what I cooked today. This is okay. a Mediterranean couscous with freshly baked salmon on top. So what I did was at the bottom I created a uh, fresh Greek yogurt tzatziki sauce while combining uh, garlic salt, dill, lemon juice, and I thinned it out with a little bit of milk so that way it had that spreadable consistency. Um, I also uh, mixed fresh pearl couscous with olive oil, um, cucumber, tomato, and uh, salt and pepper, of course, and topped it off with uh, freshly baked salmon, 350 in the oven for 20 minutes with dill on top. It's beautiful, filling, and very healthy for you. Wow, that definitely seems like a nice, healthy option for like lunch or dinner. Mm -hmm. It looks great. Gordon Ramsay looks like he would approve of it. You know, he's shaking. My personal friend, he, I think, I don't know. Yeah. But do you want to describe what this is? It looks like right. a different, different take on. So let's just circle back to you said you're friends with Gordon Ramsay, right? Yeah. Okay, love that. Um, I was on his show recently, and he did oh, yell at Master me. Oh, MasterChef? Yeah, MasterChef, and didn't go well. I wasn't the master on that show, but today, <laughs> I'm the emperor. Bye, Cusco, you know what I mean. Okay, so okay. So today, I'll explain what I made. Okay, ready. Gordon Ramsay, this is for you. This is my revenge. This is a little donut bite surprise. It's basically a glazed donut that is cut in half, sliced in half, similar to like how a bagel would be. Um, she's a little, little falling a little bit, but don't worry about that at all. Um, sliced in half, and then I went from the bagel size like looking donuts, and I added some peanut butter spread to it, added that good peanut butter base. And then from there, I added a along a little little good treats. You know, we have the saltiness from the Chex Mix and the little pretzels. And then we have a little dash of chocolate in there with some little mini Oreos. And then as well, to top it all, all off, we have some cheddar and from Cheetos, which is the wow. best. The best cheese around are Cheetos, oh. obviously. Mm -hmm. So I'm, this is something you did mention, five-star restaurants. But to me, this is five stars. Um, um, yeah, that was a lot. Did yeah. you even hear half of what he just said? That was just a big, con like, it seems like lots of flavors on the dish, you know? Let's go ahead yeah. and get started with the tasting. Let's do um, that. Up to you. Whatever you want to taste first. Whatever you want the beginning of your palate to be. You, you know what? Me. Losers first. Go ahead. You know what? I'm going to go with, like, more of the savory first, because I'm a true believer of, like, meal than dessert. So I'm just going right. to take some of this. Salmon looks like it's cooked to perfection. Get some of that couscous in there. Some of that what? Brandon? <laughs> Sorry. Couscous. Not I'm Cusco. trying to think of my dish because I'm excited to eat this myself and I'm throwing up thinking about that. So Really? Yeah. 
Speaking of throw up, Brittany, if you want to go ahead and move on to Brandon's little art project he has going on over there. That's right. So, Brittany, take a choice. Is this more of like a fork and knife kind of food, or is it like this is more finger pick up food, and... finger okay, food, okay. the best kind of food? I will say disclaimer. I don't know if you can notice. There's a little bit of residue outside from the little peanut butter. That okay. it's just some extra leaven. So feel free to dip everything in that and just scoop it all in. Okay. You know what, so do you want to go ahead and yeah? There's a little something different on each piece. So I'm just gonna I'm just gonna grab this one. Okay, go ahead. Don't say a disclaimer before your dish. Wow. Is it really you know what? Like I'm gonna it? dip it in the peanut butter like you suggested. Okay. I also have a little <laughs> extra surprise for you. Oh. Okay. I can't let you eat it dry. No, no, no. I can't oh let you eat it dry. We have oh. some melted cookies Is and that cream. Soup? Yes. Yes, yeah, some little cookie ice cream. Let's just oh, drizzle yum. that on there. Let's a little Ew. drizzle, drizzle. I'll do the other you ones for. You can't be serious. Okay. You so know what? I'm just going to go for it. Absolutely. It's good. Crunch. Ooh, the crunch. <laughs> wow. I'm feeling a lot of empathy for you right so now. You're I'm, like a 10 years to chew that. I really, ooh, I'm there's experiencing lot, the same taste buds right, right, right now. Oh my god. So you have to tell us, out of these two dishes, who is the winner? Hmm. Well, I'm rating on presentation, creativity, and overall taste. Okay. Good so. Time. She's still chewing. <laughs> very sticky. Okay. <laughs> Did you have enough of the dressing, the little, not dressing? <laughs> I'm good. I'm good. No more. Okay. I'm good. No okay, more. so for this dish, I'm gonna start with like presentation. I was really blown away with how you plated this, like super good, five star quality. So I definitely would give you a five on presentation. Yours, I was a little confused on, like there was just a lot on the donut. So I'm gonna give you a three. Okay, that's fair. So keep track, three, five. Okay, okay so the overall winner with all the scores being calculated, who is the overall winner? Okay, I feel like overall, Brandon is the winner. It no was such, it, was, it was like a flavor party in my mouth. I just loved it all together. Oh my god, cheese. I love wow. you. Thank you so much. You have no idea what this is doing for me as my in my career. It's skyrocketing. Sky I am honored. Rocketing. Oh my gosh, thank you so much. Yeah. Well, anyway, thank you so much to oh. Brittany for visiting here in the studio. Um, I really agree with your choice. Well, of course you do. And I hope you have a great day. Well, thanks for coming Thank out, Brittany. Yeah. I don't agree with you, but off you go. Thank you for having me. It was so great. I really enjoyed both well, your Bye, Brittany. I don't really Goodbye. know what to say. Thank you. Well, this is really, really embarrassing. Well, Ooh. I know what to say. And there you have it. It looks like today we're saying goodbye to Mallory. <laughs> it's been a real honor competing with you, though. Great stuff. Whatever. But. You lost, and then... It just wasn't meant to be for you. Sorry. Anyway. Next week on Mix It, our guest is a three-year-old three golden retriever that makes a mean chocolate chip cookie. Who knew dogs can bake? I guess it's true what they say in Pixar's Ratatouille. Anyone can cook. And if you want to make these recipes at home, visit our website, www.mixitwithbrandon.com or follow us on social media at Cook with Mix It. Thanks so much for tuning in. We'll see you next time. I'm Brandon Garnsey yet again. And this was Mix It.